Hello YouTube, this is uh, Team Geeter out with another video. This is uh, for a deck review, because uh, this is my first deck review. And right now I'm running Scraps. I used to run Dandy Warrior, but Dandy Warrior got boring and it also got more annoying because everybody was running it. So I decided to make Scraps, which isn't a top tier deck, but it's still really well and I think it takes more thought than it does with other decks. I've beaten X Sabres, uh, Grave Keepers, I 2 0 Grave Keepers actually. I've beaten Six Samurais, I've beaten a dandy war itself uh but this deck is pretty good but there is still a few bugs in it but uh i'm just trying to show you my deck and please rate and comment and subscribe so yeah so also when you comment please tell me what i should fix or give me ideas at least because i do want this deck to run more smoothly so uh let's first start off with uh monsters i run three scrap chimera obviously because it's the main card of the deck it's mostly the engine you rely on this guy because it's an easy synchro. It does the same thing like Black Salvo does in uh, Debris Dragon. So you just summon, especially summon uh, Beast or Goblin, synchro into Scrap Dragon or Scrap Archfiend. So yeah, I run three. I also run three Scrap Beast because this card I really like. I mean, it's, it's just a good synchro. I mean, 16 attack, 4 stars, easy way. And also, if you just want him in the graveyard, it's easy way just to throw him in the graveyard. Or if, like, say you stall with him and he still sets, you want to put him in defense, you know, just in case if you want to get the Scrap Chimera off his effect from the graveyard. So, yeah, I run three. I also run three Scrap Goblin. I love this card to death. Oh, look at a little swoop. That's how I got it from the pack. But uh, I love this card to death solely because I just love it when attack doesn't get destroyed by battle. And if you do attack in defense, it does get destroyed, but only by its own effect. So you can technically get Scrap Chimera from the graveyard. Amazing card. Arcanite Magician. Helper right here. I run two Gravekeeper Spy. I did run an Ascendant, but I really didn't like it because I already used Scrap Dragon to blow up the field enough. So I was just like, this card is just an extra add. And I'd rather, you know, tribute Descendant or something. But yeah, I used to run Descendant, and I also tried Guard, but I didn't like them both, so I just put down the two Gravekeeper Spy. Morphing Jar, amazing. Sends scraps to the graveyard and gives you a hand so you can easily get into your Chimeras and stuff. Gores, everybody knows it's the best card. Stops OTKs, you know. I added, I just added this card because um, I didn't really... Like, this card, this deck would, like, run out of defense every once in a while. So, you know, this was a good defense. Also, it's an easy way to synchro into 6 or into 7. I run 1 Scrap Golem because some people run 2, but I didn't really like 2. Uh, I might run 2 because I do like the Scrap Searcher, like, idea that uh, is used when you, when you summon Scrap Golem, bring Scrap Searcher to your opponent's side of the field, blow up his side of the field. So, yeah, I pretty much like that, but I'm going to try this for right now and see how it goes. I run Summoner Monk only because there are a lot of dead draws, like, spells possibly sometimes. You know, I might get, uh, like, a Scrap Storm if I don't have a Scrap Monster. I can easily just drop, you know, Synchro with 4-8 with Scrap Beast. All right, now for the spells. I run three Scrap Storm. Scrap Storm, scrap storm to me is an amazing card. You know, you target one Scrap Monster, send another Scrap Monster to the graveyard, and then if it's based on what scrap monster it is, if it's beast or goblin, you get his effect and you can add like, say you send Chimera to the graveyard because you need Chimera, add Chimera to your hand, and then you get to draw a card. Well, first you draw a card, then you get to add the card, but it's an amazing card. I, I love three. Book of Moon. I run three of them. The reason why I run three of them is because I like to consider them my own personal solemn. They stop so many plays. They stop synchroing. They can even... So effects can call priority, but Dark Arm... Wait till he targets this, and then you go. He dark arms face down, but I love this card. It's my own personal solemn. I run two Scapriard. I don't really like three, and I don't really like one. I like two because these basically are another monster, so I can just easily search for a Scrap Tuner in my deck. Double MST. I like I like this format kind of only because of Double MST. I really do miss Heavy Storm, but it's I'm kind of glad it's gone in a way. But I kind of hate it. It's a double standard thing. But two MST is perfect. Mind control, easy synchroing. I run, I run like seven tuners in here. Easy synchro. So yeah. It also can win you games. Giant Chunade wins games. Also, I love the Giant Chunade and then flip morphing. They have to drop their whole hand. 
Foolish, send scrap chimera to the grave, or send scrap beast, or scrap golem, whatever you really need at the moment. Dark hole, gets rid of field, can mess up people's plays. Easy. This is a good card because of scrap dragon. I like to send one card, destroy the backfield because they can't respond to it, or just, you know, just like I know I'm gonna win this turn, play cold wave. I like Gold Sark. I have had a pot of duality, and I was going to run it, but I decided not to run pot of duality because. It's just, it's a good card, but it's just like not actually needed needed for the deck, but it's it's a pretty good card. Monster Reborn. I mean, do I really need to tell you why I use Monster Reborn? Amazing card. Alright, now for the traps. Uh, two Bottomless, of course, because Bottomless is a staple in almost every deck. Removes a monster at summon, can stop plays. One Trap Stun. I picked Trap Stun because uh, a lot of people, since there's a lot of setting this format, uh, traps are a lot more of a problem so trap stun's good and I can also chain it with scrap dragon so I target this destroy one of their cards also activate trap stun everybody knows why I run mirror force because I think everybody really runs it for the same reason attack destroy all monsters only reason why mirror force I kinda don't like it this format is just because of the MSTs they're just there at two and this card gets destroyed easily um, Dark Coffin, I want to run two. This card is just really hard to find because it's old, but I love it. Chained it to Scrap Dragon. They have to, they have to choose that you discard a card from their hand or they destroy a monster on their side of the field. Also, it can lure out their MSTs easily. Call of the Haunted, I really like this card. Say so you had it face down and you had a, um, yeah, you have this face down, flip, such summon. Scrap Beast, easy way to get it out or like anything that you really need. Scrap Goblin. Like, it's just a... Everybody knows why you run it. Torrential Tribute stops plays, destroys monsters. Solemn. I don't know. Really don't like Solemn in this deck. Kind of screws me over sometimes. Because, you know, you know, everybody's had those times when they have a Solemn and they're like, uh, should I use it? And then, you know, there's some times when they use it and it ends up messing them up. So, yeah, that's enough for the deck. Uh, now it's for my extra deck. So, I run... The Reach Scrap Dragon, of course, it's like the main card you want to synchro into because of its effect. And if it gets destroyed by a battle or a card effect, it's still good because you can special summon. And it's really good if you also have uh, Golem in the graveyard, special summon Golem. Yeah, and you can just go from there. Two Scrap Arch Fiends. I used to, I used to only run one Scratch Scrap Arch Fiend, but I chose to run two because of the. Sometimes I would end up being stuck with a Goblin in the graveyard, not a Beast. So I run two. Arcanite. I run two Arcanite because of actually I run this because I run two Gravekeeper Spies. So it's easy to scrap Goblin. Yeah. Scrap Twin. I run one because I only would synchro into him if I run, if I summon Golem. I would only synchro into him, but he's pretty good, you know. Tribute one monster, one card in the field, and return up to three, I mean, two of their cards. Colossal Fighter. Golio, most of the staple synchros, Stardust, Cataster, Dark End, Brionic, Chimera Tech Fortress, and now for the side deck. The side deck is very debatable in this deck because it's kind of hard to know what to actually put in, but this is what I've done right now. It's going to change in the future, but please give me like your ideas of what should I put in my side deck. But here's what I have so far. Um, two concentrated lights because I really don't like black wings, especially since like they are still good. I don't know why people think they suck, but they are still a really good deck and they're still around. Uh, DD Crows it stops a lot. You know I love this card so much. Oh, DD Crow Plague, DD Crow Glow Up Bulb, DD Crow Dandelion. You can just DD Crow so many things. It's useful. Uh, two Cyber. I was thinking about maining one only because I run uh, Scrap Twin because it'd be easier. And also, I like this card because it kind of look like I only use it if I play Machine of Gadgets because they are still around sometimes. And yeah, I like Cyber Dragon. I might main him, so give me some comments if I should main him. One Gemini Imp. I want to get another one, so if you have one, please PM me and trade it to me because I need it. I love Gemini Imps because of Gravekeepers. If they play Royal Tribute and this card gets dropped from your hand, it actually negates the effect, so this card only drops to the graveyard and you get to draw a card. So it's a good way to stop those annoying ass Gravekeepers that are out. Chain Disappearance. Chain Disappearance is pretty cool. 
because I pick a monster with a thousand or less and it gets removed. So it gets rid of Dandelion, you know, the annoying ass cards. True Divine Wrath, every card has effect these days, especially Caius. I hated Caius. Uh, I will run pulling the rugs over this, but for right now I'm running this. Um, two Imperial Iron Walls. I hate my monsters getting removed because my deck relies around Scrap Chimera and Scrap Beast and Scrap uh, Goblin. So if they remove them, I kind of get like left in the Scrooge zone. So I like to not let them remove my monsters. Noblemen's because of Gravekeepers and they set a lot and I like to do this and just remove them. Usually would take out my Gravekeeper Spies if I'm using these because I would not want to remove my own of course. I'd put in Concentrated Lights because all Gravekeepers are darks. So uh, yeah, so that's it for the deck. Um, also for like to end it, to end the video, uh, this mat, if you're interested in it, I mean, I'm willing to trade it for cards. I have another Naruto mat if you like Naruto mats. It's a Heaton. Uh, let me see if let's get all of it. That's Heaton, and uh, yeah, it's for trade too. If you're interested in them, just PM me. Uh, this deck is also for sale or for trade. I most likely just want to get rid of it all at once, but I will price. Um, I will price it high because of some cards in there are really hard to get, and they are all, all of the cards are in mint condition. None of them are damaged. So yeah, uh, YouTube, subscribe, rate, comment, tell me anything what you think about the deck. Uh, this is Team Gita signing out. Bye.